Hi, welcome back to Taste Panel for Chilliant, episode 109. Okay, closing in on another deck of group of sauces. Alright, today uh, we have, uh, yeah, the return of Coop's Kitchen. Alright, and this time we have the Wild Horse. Okay, now, it seems that Coop, or William Cooper, uh, isn't much for, uh, for, uh, label variety. Again, we have pretty much the same label as was featured on the Master Blaster. And again, not a whole lot of information going on on these labels. Uh, we just have gourmet hot sauce, and we have his actual address and some phone numbers, okay? And, uh... Hey, his picture looking sort of like a uh, distinguished island gentleman there, yeah. And uh, the ingredients, and that's all you get here. Uh, again, as I made mention, uh, when we were doing the Master Blaster, uh, Coop does have a site. So uh, go to your uh, Google or Yahoo search engine and put in Coop's Kitchen. It'll bring up the site, and you'll see just how many sauces... Uh, William Cooper has, and it is quite a selection. So anyway, uh, the wild horse today. All right, and the ingredients for this particular sauce are jalapeno and habanero peppers, tomatoes, vinegar, sugar, spices, and horseradish. All right, so uh, we're getting kind of that play on words there, the wild horse featuring some horseradish, so I'm thinking the two are related, and I really like horseradish, so uh, I'm hoping we get a big hit of that in this guy, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to tasting the wild horse, so hey, let me, uh, this thing has a little plastic piece here, uh, hopefully I can kind of get under here and get it off, real kind of small piece, maybe I need to work it this way, um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, last time we had the Master Blaster, which was pretty good sauce, and I'm expecting the same from this one. So, all right, hey guys, let's take a sniff of this and uh, see where we're at. We do have a little pepper blockage in the top here. I'm going to kick that back and give it one quick shake again, guys, and we should be set to go. All right, let's see what happens here with the Wild Horse. All right, yeah. Kind of getting a, yeah. Kind of like a deep, kind of peppery, garlicky smell there. Maybe a little of that horseradish shining through. Kind of giving it a spicy nose. Again, kind of a uh, nose kind of favoring those jalapeno peppers. Getting a little bit of tang in the nose. Uh, kind of, uh, kind of similar to the, the Master Blaster as far as those jalapenos coming forth. Uh, this one here kind of actually picking up a little bit of a sweet note in there as well. A little bit of a, a little bit of a, a, a sugary note going on behind everything. So we're kind of getting a, kind of like a jalapeno maybe with a little bit of those molasses -ish smell coming out of there, giving it maybe a slight hint of Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Hey, let's do it, guys. I'll tell you what, let me give you a quick look at this as I'm losing myself in the battle here. All right, looks kind of puree. Uh, looks uh, a little medium to thick, maybe. Uh, don't see a whole lot. A couple seeds drifting around in there, but, uh, yeah. Looks, uh, yeah, see some spices going on. Hey, the wild horse, here we go. Yeah, fill up my spoon. Yeah, really creamy in texture. Uh, looks a little on the thick side. I imagine once this is refrigerated, uh, we're going to get a nice thick body. Again, garlicky wafts coming off. Uh, tangy jalapenos and some kind of sweeter thicker, earthier note there. So here we go, guys. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow, that's 
that's really complex. Um, wow. Okay, where to start here? Um, I put it in my mouth. I got a really salty note coming through. However, uh, kind of uh, not in a negative way at all. Kind of salt gives way to some garlicky notes. I got a really nice blast of kind of tangy vinegar, jalapeno pepper tang, uh, kind of horseradish kind of mixed in there, and giving it a really zesty kick in the mouth. So we got lots and lots and lots of spices going on in the wild horse. Yeah, wow. Really coming through. Kind of gripping roof of my mouth not only with with heat but also with spices kind of what horseradish tends to do gets up in your sinuses kind of feel that happening to some degree uh also uh kind of yeah really hitting mainly the roof of my mouth got a real tangy note right now uh salty garlicky uh heat kind of kind of drifting back into the back of my throat. Uh, tongue kind of from the center back, I'm getting some heat. I got some stinging going on my lips. Uh, not not crazy heat, but certainly certainly a fair degree going on. Um, really catching the roof of the mouth. I don't know why it's concentrating there. Have that going all the way back from behind my teeth all the way back to my throat. Uh, so yeah, wow. This one here kind of captures a lot of spices in conjunction with those peppers. And uh, I'm getting a whole lot of uh, uh, pepper flavor uh, as well as heat manifestation. And uh, wow, a lot, a lot of spices, including that horseradish, which is coming through there. All right, yeah. Wow, take one more look at that. The wild horse. Man, that has me going. Got a nice uh, warmth hitting the chest. Going down. And uh, kind of everything seems to have a, uh, uh, a rather good balance going on. So, hey, uh, if you're into, uh, into getting into some spicy, peppery, and uh, hey pretty hot stuff going on. Yeah, check out Coop's Kitchen, the wild horse, and uh, maybe get yourself a bottle of the Master Blaster while you're at it, because these are really good sauces. I hope to feature more in the future. So I have this burn going on in my mouth right now with garlic and salt and all kinds of things going on. Hey!